my good friends and welcome to One Credit Classics. It is time to get this week's Patreon request started, but before we do, it's time to shout out some of you fantastic folks for all your support. Thanks very much to Justin Timpot Gamer, Chris Lewis, Prince Watercrest, Brad Wharton, Calvin Cusack, Simon Nelson, Alex Cassidy, Lowry Cusack, JT Harkey, Talon Scave, Stephen Griffiths, Mike Gammon, David McNamara, Robert Farley, James O'Grady, Glenn Updike, Henry Knott, Andy Pye, Callum Stannard, Paul Ward, and Mr. Simon Johnston. Thank you very much, you great people, and obviously to the rest of the Patreon faithful. You can join Patreon for as little as $2 a month. You get a bonus video for that every week and free stuff in the post. You also get entered into exclusive competitions. There's a tier system on the Patreon page. You can give as much as you want to get cool rewards. One-off donations rather than Patreon, there's a paypal.me link, which is at the bottom. The address is paypal.me forward slash one credit classics. You can chuck me some cash there if you'd like. You can also check out our Amazon affiliate scheme. There's a link in the description box. If you shop on Amazon, then use that link when you do and we'll get a percentage every time you buy something and it won't cost you anything extra, which is good. Save that link link and get shopping. Finally, check out the Video Wizards podcast. Every month, my good friend Mikhail Croder and I take apart what was going on in a certain year between 1980 and 2000 for that specific month. We'll talk arcade games, home consoles, but also music, news, films, TV, and all other manner of trivia. Get on iTunes and give us a review or wherever you get your podcasts from. Right then, my friends, to the matter in hand. Let's do this, shall we? So Pirate Ship Higamaru, my good friends, came out in 1984. And there's some people who are involved with this who went on to do a lot of amazing stuff for Capcom, but also a lot of stuff that I'm a massive fan of. Uh, the main designer was Takura Fujiwara, who obviously went on to do Ghosts and Goblins, Ghouls and Ghosts, all kinds of amazing stuff, Commando, all kinds of amazing stuff for uh, for Capcom. But the lead composer was uh, Tamayo Kawamoto, who did a lot of the work on uh, Ghouls and Ghosts, a lot of the music on Ghouls and Ghosts. Um, I originally played this on the Capcom Classics collection, uh, and I just thought to myself, somebody messaged me about um, Patreon requests, and they said about old Capcom games. And I thought to myself about which ones I wanted to do, and then I just remember playing this loads, and it being loads of fun. So it never ends. Um, Once you get to level 16, there's a chance that the, uh, the game will show you a kill screen. Uh, but if not, then you just kind of carry on. So we'll have a couple of goes on this. We'll see how we get on. Uh, what I've got to do is basically throw things and kill a load of pirates. I play Mamataru, who's Norwegian, quite randomly. And I have to uh, clear all these people off the pirate ship. So I'll put a credit in. And we'll get started. Nice and simple. So the, the glowing barrels, right, if I pick them up, I can throw anything based on this. The glowing barrels, if I pick them up, there's prizes on them, usually. The captain looking guy, I can't actually take him out completely. What I've got to do is, you see where it says 2100, where my score is, there's a little kind of face there. I've got to get rid of it. as many pirates as I can until all those disappear and then there won't, no more will spawn from here. Jesus, it's stuck here a little bit. There we are. Get him gone. Ship. Now these ones, the barrels, these won't actually break, which is very handy. And then that. Now this is invincibility. Solid. Let's deck one clear. Nice. Shit. Get that. Shit. Which way are you going on, man? Bollocks. We're alright. You get out the corner here. Oh, touch. Bit of invincibility. Level done. Not a bad score as well. We're up to 11,000 already. There it is. Fucking Shane O'Mac. 
throwing that fucking money around. So yeah, as I said at the start, I mean, I played this on the Capcom Classics Collection, which, looking back at it now, was such supreme value for how much I actually played it, and how much it got me into a load of games that I never would have played normally. Like, the amount of time I spent playing Ghosts and Goblins, obviously the big one, but other games from that uh, from that collection, I played a load of Gunsmoke, I played a load of uh, uh, Commando, uh, I played a load of the, the ones that were on the early games collection, so uh, Sanson, me and my mate uh, Mr. Dan Sanzari, who I went to university with, uh, yeah, we played a boatload of this. x -taxes, like which was famously terrible, uh, Vulgus, like, there were so many good games on that. Solid. High point deck, which means there's only the uh, captain looking people on it. But they're obviously worth like a bit more. Nice, bloody hell. Already got the high score, which ain't bad. I'll be so careful here. That easy to get fucking ambushed. Nice. Cheeky double F. See, I've got to take another three out, and then they'll stop spawning. Oh! I think it's like, once you've taken... Yeah, then I've, all I've got to do is the ones who are beaten now will stay beaten. Yeah, so you won't get any more fresh spawns. Cheeky pipe! Right, come here, you. Sure, he's gonna get out. Nice, solid bit of score in there. Onwards to deck five. Shit, tough this. And the other thing that makes it tough now is that it. I don't know if they do originally, but they uh, they move a lot faster than you know. Shit. God on my looked out there. Fucking hell. I could have really done with that being invincibility. Nice. There you go. Oh, touch. them running around. Shit. One down. Oh, shot. Oh, time's running. Oh, shit, it's like, what's in it? Bubble bubble. Bollocks. That's gotta be it, right? Oh. Problem is, I've got to kill a load of people here. Nice. Touch. Fancy that to take somebody. How many more do I need? Oh no, just just kill these. There you go, shot. Bollocks. Come here. Oh. I'm with a deck seven. Shit. 
dead. Ah, never mind. We've got a couple of extra lives because you get one at 10,000 and one at every 50,000. So, hang on. I don't know if it's 10,000 and every 50 or 10,000 and then 50 from that. So, I don't know if we started on three or... I don't know. We'll soon find out, though, because we might get an extra life when we get to 60,000. We might not. I'm not counting on it, so... Oh, touch. Making the most of this killed a lot of people here. Come on, Captain. He's done well there, in all fairness. Shit. Bit lucky that, really. Done. On to the high point deck, deck eight. Fucking leave me alone. <laughs> Couldn't get out of the way then. No, maybe I'd already got the life. Yeah, maybe it was 10 and 15 and. Yes, yeah, as you can see. Barlick. Ah, oh, that's unlucky. Couldn't have done a lot then. Fucking hell, I didn't mean to do that. Did well there. I had to make that's a tough shot to make, like. Solid. Took a few losses on there, but on with a deck nine. Fuck off, did he get out of the way of that? Really dear the fucking. See how many people I've got to try and get now to try. Really struggling it. There's just so many, I'm straight away like. Did well there. Touch. Come on. We're taking a lot of people out there. Shit. Shit! Oh, hang on, I got an extra life, did I? I've got one more life left. Who knows what the scoring is then? The problem is... Hang on, how did that drop me over there? Oh, that's a shame. Why not? I 
and they uh, you see t- uh, Fujiwara there but that guy uh, and what I should know his first name because of the Ghouls and Ghosts po- podcast but uh, yeah that guy uh, Arame I want to say his name's Takeshi but that's probably being a bit general I swear his name's Takeshi Arame it probably isn't uh, but Mr. Arame anyhow was uh, the guy who modelled the uh, the red Arame on obviously I'm not to say that he used to turn up to work in a uh, do you know I mean a pair of vulcanised rubber black pants and used to fly at people but I mean he's uh, yeah he was a special kind of uh, special kind of fella it is Wednesday, and we are taking Wednesdays back, my friend, for One Credit Classics Patreon videos. This was a cracking little play on Pirate Ship Higamaru. Dig it out. Works on MAME. It's on the Capcom Classics collection on the PlayStation. Um, if any of you good people can set a, a really good high score on this, then yeah, that'd be it. That'd be cool. Once things get back to normal again, I'll stick you some stuff out in the post, because I feel like we should be doing that. Uh, Thursday night, tomorrow night, we'll have a stream. And then Saturday at 4pm, we will play through... Um, some more of Card Fighters Clash, our multi-part long play, which is at part four now. Should just be part three, but my internet died. Okay, take very good care of yourselves. Stay safe, whatever you're doing. Keep in contact with me. Um, let me know what games you want to have a look at. Uh, and dig out Pirate Ship Higa Mario, because it is a lot of fun. Speak soon.